In this presentation, we will look at bills of materials. Bills of materials is more commonly abbreviated as BOM or you might hear it as BOM. So a BOM is a list of materials and their quantities. That's all. So just like a list of all the materials and their quantities required to manufacture an end product. So here what I mean by end product is a finished goods. So if you want to create one finished goods or create one product, what are the ingredients you need? Or what are the items you need and what quantities you need? That's basically the BOM or bills of materials. Think of it like a list of ingredients. That's the easiest way to remember bills of materials. They didn't call it as list of materials, but this is the terminology commonly used, bills of materials. So just think of it like list of materials or item list or ingredients. That's the easiest way to remember bills of materials. Now the BOM is actually part of the production planning, the SAP PP module and is used in discrete manufacturing. What is discrete manufacturing? It means some a product which you can touch, see or even count. For example, toys, cakes, furniture and automobiles and so on. So any, this type of product is called discrete manufacturing and the bills of materials is extensively used in production planning. Now as a FICO consultant or SAP finance consultant, you will not be asked to create any bills of materials. It will be taken care of by the logistics consultant who specializes in production planning modules. However, in this present presentation, I'm showing you how to create bills of materials because if you want to create your own set of test data to have an end-to-end -end production planning process, it is important that you know how to create them so you can test it out. But in real life scenario, bills of materials will be handled by the logistics consultant. Now there are many categories of bills of materials. You can see there are about six categories over here. Material, document, equipment, function location, order and work breakdown structure or commonly known as WBS. Again, this is very much towards the PP module. So we'll, what we'll be concentrating on is a material bomb because we're only looking at the list of materials. So all the bombs we are creating will be regarded to the material bomb. Now there are two levels of bombs you can create. One is called a single level bomb. The other one is called a multi-level bomb. The single level means just by the word itself, it's just one level. For example, if I'm just baking a plain vanilla cake, these are the ingredients I need, so just one level. But let's say I want to do icing on top of this cake, then icing has to be prepared. So it's like something like a semi-finished good. So I'm making one finished good, but in between I need a semi-finished goods, which is icing. So icing, how to make icing? It has its own list of ingredients to make icing. So I'm having a second level over here. So if you have more than one level, it's called multi-level bomb. So here my vanilla cake, for basic vanilla cake, I have all the ingredients over here. With icing, I have a separate level because I need the icing mixture and that requires a separate set of ingredients. Now imagine I want to have some decorations over here, some for example, some flowers, some leaves or some figures and so on. Then those has to be created separately. So that can be another level. So like for example, a decorations level. So if you have more than one level, it's called a multi-level bomb. And if you just have one level, single level, it's called a single level bomb. Very easy to remember the different types of bombs. Now before you start creating the bills of materials in the system, there are some important checkpoints you need to see. The important first checkpoint is to ensure that the material types, remember the material types which we created some time back, that we used the standard ones, the ROH material type is a raw materials, then we had VERP I think for packaging materials, and we had another one for finished goods and so on. So these are the different material types. Ensure that the material types have the valuation area ticked for quantity and value updates. I think you may not be able to recall. Let's go and check the configuration and I'll talk to you what I'm going to exactly tick. So if you come to the SAP transaction menu and we go to the short transaction code OMS2, this is where we configure the material types. And uh, one of the material types I used was ROH, the standard one for raw materials. You can see, let's call it like this just to make it easy to remember, ROH. So this ROH raw materials, if, if I just double click on this, and if I just scroll down, and you can see quantity 
slash value updating you know, because I need the bills of material is all about the material list and their quantity I need to ensure that the quantity and the values are updated now here if it's mentioned in all valuation areas and in all valuation areas so you don't have to go and do any ticks in the next step